Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to do the tilt shift effect in Adobe Lightroom. Now the tilt shift effect is a uh, effect that you can do uh, post-processing to kind of mimic the effect of a tilt shift lens. And what it basically does is give you a very, very large depth of field so you can uh, get kind of like a bur blurred top and bottom look while the center of the photo sort of remains attack sharp. And so that's basically what we're going to do here. A lot of people think when you have an image like this uh, and you kind of want to, let's say you want to get these people here. Uh, and you want to do the tilt shift effect, you go for the adjustment brush and you start painting in the effect this way. Uh, that's a good effect to do, uh, a good way to do it, but probably one of the most effective tools to do it with is the gradient filter here. So I'm going to click on the gradient filter and I'm, all I'm going to do is just drag a filter all the way down to the bottom of the image. Uh, now, depending on the part of the image that you want to uh, choose, uh, you want to be blurred out. Uh, I'm going to keep all of this blurred out. I'm going to try to get blurred all the way down here to probably around the front of this truck here. So all I'm going to do is bump two sliders down. I'm going to bump the sharpness down and I'm going to do the clarity as well. Now, sometimes the clarity doesn't work, uh, but for this one, I'm going to go ahead and keep it on there and see what we, we can do here. So you can see it's only blurring this amount right here. So now I'm going to take the filter and drag it all the way down as much as I can. So probably right around there, all right? And now let's go ahead and do another one. So I'm gonna click New, and now I'm gonna drag another effect here from the bottom, and we'll do it right around there. Do the same thing, clarity down, sharpness down. All right, so there you go. We got this effect going on right now, and that's about as easy as it gets. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click Done here, and you, so you can kind of see what it looks like. It kind of makes it look like a miniature model effect, like this is a a tiny uh, tiny village or a tiny model that was made. And so one way to uh, to kind of decrease this model, if you like the look, that's great. But one way you can kind of decrease this is to uh, click on the nodes here and kind of play with the uh, clarity. Maybe the clarity is too much for you. You can kind of play with that one, but the sharpness really gives the effect. So let's look at the before and after here. I'm going to go ahead and click the uh, before and after button. So here is the half of the photo that is uh, the, the original photo. Here is the, um, the after here. Let's go ahead and look at the traditional before and after. And you can kind of see how kind of a cool effect that gives. So this is a kind of effect that would be kind of cool to uh, to put on Instagram. Maybe a, a really cool filter effect to do that with. Uh, it's just a really cool effect to do for the tilt shift uh, tilt shift method that you can apply to your photos. So thank you everybody for joining me in this quick Lightroom tutorial here. Uh, thank you for joining me in this video. This is Jordan from SleekLens.com, and I'll see you in the next video.